There's the board. That's what we're converting to High Sierra. Hey dudes, this is my um, tutorial on converting a uh, Gigabyte uh, Z270 Gaming 5 motherboard uh, with um, High Sierra. Um, this is a video for me so that I, don't, I re will remember what I did this, to, this time to get to work and also if anyone else finds it interesting or has the same motherboard and wants to um, get it going on that too. Alright, here we go. Right, I got it to work on that little, um, these are so cute, little N NVMe drive. So it's working on that, but I figured I'd try and do it again on this, uh, just this regular SATA drive, seeing that's what most people will be using, or some kind of SATA, but um, those little NVMEs, they're so tiny, amazing. All right, so first thing you're gonna have to do is um, go to the download section. Uh, There's Tony Mac 86 tools, click on that. And you're gonna need <coughs> to download this file here. You gotta do this on a real Mac too, or a, uh, you know, or a Hackintosh, I guess. But um, um, you're gonna need that, and you're gonna need that. You need UniBoost and MultiBoost. So UniBoost is your USB stick that installs it and MultiBoost is all the drivers and shit that uh, make it all work. So download them and also download your uh, app, your um, OS X that you want to install um, as well from Apple. Downloaded uh, beforehand. So I've got a few operating systems downloaded there, but uh, this time we're gonna go for High Sierra. So. When you download it, just don't install it on. It'll, it'll when you download it from the App Store, it'll think you're going to install it on your computer right now. You hit cancel, and so then it just stores it into your applications folder like that. So uh, you just leave it there for now, and then the uh, boot disk will um, use it after that. All right, so we're going in here. We've uh, shoved in our 16 gig hard uh, USB stick. Disk utility. Now this has already got it on here, so we'll, um... Now what you got to do is you got to go into this view section here, show all devices. So it actually doesn't just show, if you turn that off, it doesn't show you um, the full hardware and, and um, file system, uh, doesn't show you the full deal on there. So show all devices. Click on that, erase that, and we'll call it High Sierra. Even labeled the uh, USB High Sierra. So eventually that happens, uh, and it probably takes about 20 minutes or more, but uh, eventually it works. So now we shove that into our Hackintosh PC. <laughs> So now it's time to go into the BIOS. So we'll fire this up. Light on that. So we're gonna go in the BIOS up first. So you hit delete. Okay, so in here, we're gonna change a few settings. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that uh, fast boot is in BIOS. We're going to make sure that fast boot is disabled, and then we're also going to make sure that the Windows 8 10 feature is set to other OS, and that the storage boot option control is set to UEFI. And I've got that other one, other PCI devices set to that too, so that works. Okay, so now over to peripherals, go into that USB configuration. And make sure legacy USB support is enabled and that um, XHCI handoff is enabled. So now over to chipset, um, that VDT, you want that disabled and you want this one down the bottom, the o 
the IOAPIC24119 entries enable that. Now, still in chipset, um, I'm using the internal graphics, so I've got that enabled. Now, this is important. If you want to use the internal graphics, you've got to have this set to 96M, the DVMT pre-allocated, pre uh, needs to be set to 96M. If it doesn't, if you don't have that, it won't boot in, in the final screens. That's one that one that one was really stumping me. Maybe if you've got an external graphic like a a um yeah, like a graphics card that plugs in, that wouldn't be a problem. But it really stumped me for a while there. Okay, so then once you got that set up, I'd go down here and then say save profile into um I don't know, Hackintosh name and then save it, and then save and exit setup. Okay, so now once you've restarted, uh, you hit your uh, F12 button on your keyboard, and now you select the UEFI, um, whatever your USB stick is called, will be, will be listed there, and then partition one, select that. So then you get this, and then we're gonna go, yeah, six, uh, yeah, that's good, enter for that. Getting there, getting there. All right, it's getting there. All right, so we're here, we're going to disk utility. Internal system travel hit view all devices. We'll click on that. We will. Oh, yeah, it's on master boot disk. So I need to uh, erase that. Um, Apple partition. Oh, no, GUI partition map. That's what you want. And we'll call that um, system. Drive, go the way you want, if you spell it right, and erase that, done, now we're going to go out of this, and then go into here, My Sierra, yes, yes, Click on there, install, that's, so that's your system drive, you just formatted, installing that. Five minutes it reckons, it'll be way longer than that. Alright, so that just shut down sort of before it had finished doing anything, so let's see what it does now. Alright, hitting F12. And we are going to tell it to boot with that same one we... Uh, the um, USB with the um, boot on it. And then we are gonna, oh, it'll just automatically do it from the system. Okay, so now it's giving us a time, 22 minutes remaining, so it's continuing the install. Booted, so let's see if it knows what to do next. No, it doesn't, so we'll restart that. Restart him, and we'll go into F12. F12, and go back down to that one. The USB, and then now we should be able to select to boot from the system drive. Uh, oh yeah, it defaulted to it. So yeah, that's the system drive. So we are. Hopefully, it'll continue the install. Should appear with the um, time and uh, map of the world. All right. So now that has booted to a grey screen. So now we should see the 
the rest of the install stuff happen now. Yeah, that was the map I was talking about. So we're in Australia, so down to there. And there, and there, and there, and... Uh, how the fuck do we get out of this? Oh, okay, don't transfer. Next, yeah, I agree, and then we'll just call this whatever you want to call it. Let's call this the Jules Z270X, and then we'll do a password. Continue. There we go, there's the desktop. So, now we've got to do the uh, multi-beast drivers. That one though. So this is the drivers. The multi-beast is your um, drivers for your motherboard. So, let's drag that to the desktop. That open. Alright, so now for the multi beast settings. Click on that. So, in um, multi beast, now we're going to click that first one, the UF, UF, oh, UEFI boot mode. Then in drivers, we are going to select. Uh, that one, Universal Voodoo. HDA V29.0 D10 Disk we are gonna call it, uh, I can't remember what we did for disk um, Maybe just that one, I think it's that one Miscellaneous, we're gonna tick all of these Gonna touch that one just yet. I don't think I did that last time. Uh, Intel is this last one here. The this is the network. Intel Intel Mousy Ethernet V two four point zero. USB. I think. I think I selected all of that, and maybe just not that one there. Soon find out, I guess. And then uh, bootloaders, that first one. And then in this one, we go on Intel because I'm just using the onboard. And then nothing there. And then I'll just leave that. And then build. So that's all that. So install that. Agree. Put in the password. Let that install. Right, so that's all installed. Um, so now let's restart and see if it actually boots. Okay, restarted. Hitting the F12. Okay. So there it is there. That's the UF, UEF5 of the hard drive. So that means it should boot. So we're going in the BIOS. And we'll tell it to boot from that. And option boot one. We want it to be that one on the hard drive, not the USB. So enter, save and exit. So now it should just boot, fingers crossed. Okay, so that should just, yeah, it's got the system driver there, that should just boot now. There we go, 
booted by itself. Password in. Yay. So now it's time to test internet and stuff and sound. Down to, let's check audio. Yeah, these earphones might be able to hear it on the camera. Oh yeah, it's making a sound. Headphones. Yeah, that'll wax, even though you can't hear it, but it's, I can hear it on the earphone. Uh, so, internet. Yes, that works. Uh, let's go to update now. Uh, about this Mac. Uh, software update. No updates available. Hmm. Oh, there we go. Checking for updates. And get that one. Two gigs. And there we start. See if that still boots after a update. All right, so um, I installed that update. That took, huh, that took like half an hour to install. So um, it did boot up again after that. So now we're just doing another check. It's had a night to sleep. Um, so let's see if it still works. There we go, two second boot, automatic. There we go. Password in. There we go. So it all works. So check our internet. You know, you want to turn that. Make sure you got automatic updates turned off because you don't want to update when you're not ready. Because you'll go to boot and nothing will happen. Working. Let's try something on YouTube. Yes, there is sound I can hear in my ear. That was cool. Yeah, you can probably hear that on the earphone, maybe. Yeah, so it's working. All right, oh, it's work. it works. So there's my long video on how to install a Hackintosh. Hope this helps, because it took me a while to get to this point. All right, hope you enjoyed the vid, bye.